Hello and welcome to today's video on what makes permanent brows turn strange colours over time. We're going to focus on the subject of light fastness in pigments, but watch to the end as there are a couple of other factors that could be influencing the colour of your brows. Hi, I'm Katie Schofield and I'm a permanent makeup artist and trainer in the UK. I also mentor online all over the world. I create educational content regularly, so if you hit the subscribe button, you need never miss a video and it also helps my channel reach and help more people. We're going to be talking about brow colours, so it'd be a really wise idea to get my free colour theory mini course. There's a link down there in the description. And also join my free Facebook group, Permanent Excellence, where you can post work or ask questions in a supportive environment. So what is light fastness? It describes how resistant a pigment is to fading in light, and it's on a scale of one to eight, one fading very quickly, and eight being very resistant. All permanent makeup fades in UV light and some pigments will fade quicker than others. Now your brow pigments are usually different shades of brown and brown isn't a prime colour so it'll be made up of several different colourants. To get them to age and fade evenly then all the component colours need to have the same light fastness. Carbon pigments have a tendency to last longer and heal cooler and iron oxide pigments tend to fade quicker and can leave a warm residue. But if you invest in pigments with an even light fastness, then they should fade, but stay brown. A good pigment will age evenly. If you're getting funky colors consistently coming back to you for a color boost and having to color correct often, then change your pigment line. So if we look at this pigment, it's made up of four different colors and the red and the orange have the highest light fastness. And this means that the yellow and the green are going to disappear first. So as these brows age, they're gonna be left with a dominant red and orange look. This pigment, however, is made of yellow, red, black, and white. And it's the black and white that have the highest light fastness in this case. So as the red and yellow fade, you're going to be left with black and white, which mixed together is gray. The rule of thumb is that carbon pigments tend to last longer than iron oxide pigments, but it all is down to the light fastness. So if you have an iron oxide pigment with a higher light fastness than the carbon, it's going to last longer. But I also said that other things can affect the long-term warmth of your brows. And number one is depth. If you go too deep, then you take the pigment further from the surface of the skin and closer to the vascular system, and it will look cooler. Too shallow, and it can look too warm. So it's quite possible to see hair stroke and shaded brows come back both blue and red when the same pigment has been used. In that case, it's a depth issue. Another reason is over modification. And this is where concentrated warmth or coolness is put into your pigment to change the temperature. If you over modify, then the brows can age and there can be a dominant color left behind. If you're working with modifiers, you should be very cautious with them as they are super concentrated. You should also know your pigment line inside out. Do you understand the different types of pigments and how they behave? I've made this video here to explain it. Please ask any questions in the comments. I love to help and I'll see you soon.